Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. So many times before I've said it, I know where I am. Channeling is not removed from reality. Some would wonder what this is. Even here, on a stage where I have been so many times with my partner, there are still those who would say, what really is happening? What you're seeing, dear ones, is ancient. This is how spirit talks to humanity. And the ancients knew it. They had ceremonies for it. Lemurians did it. A time that was set aside for intuitive talk where human beings would surrender a certain part of their consciousness and bring in the central source. All through scripture, modern scripture, this is the way spirit has spoken to humans. So much that you would call the word of God that has been written is the word of men and women under the influence of channeling. Think about it. Who is it? Who is it? Who wrote the most profound scriptures on the planet in any civilization? Who? You did. You did. Not some creature who came down and put their pen to paper. You did it. What you see in the chair is how it was done. So many of the prophets, the apostles, the disciples, writing so much beautiful information from God. Love, instructions, celebration, enablement, flowing right to their pens from the great central source. This is no different. I want to talk about something that is so profoundly germane to the time. It's time to speak of these things. I want to talk about several things this evening, and one leads to the other. There is a plan, dear one, for this galaxy. And right now, this is the center of the plan. The only planet of free choice is you. It means that the only planet of billions in this galaxy that has a certain kind of soul, a soul that is aware, that has been seeded with the knowledge of light and dark and has a chance to decide where they're going. High vibration, low vibration, without the influence of God, but free choice 
It's what creates a human being in this audience who still doesn't believe this is real. Free choice. And you have it. This planet was set up that way. The very creation story you have is the story of the Pleiadians who were an enlightened planet who had the creative source in their DNA sharing it with you so you would have the choice to go forward or not. This is a galactic soul plan. You may not understand, dear ones. So let me just say this. Don't you feel God inside? At some level, can you feel the eternalness of your soul? Did you know that 85% of this planet believes in the afterlife? No matter what their belief system, it includes the afterlife. Not wishful thinking, but intuitive absolutely intuitive truth when you leave this planet in corporeal form there is a piece of you which is eternal and stays in the universe call it what you want whatever you think it is it's more complex However you think of the human soul, it's grander and greater than you can even imagine. There's a soul plan for everyone in the galaxy. Now there's something new going on. Very new. Since 2012. How do I describe this? so that it will be succinct and will be real to you and you will say I understand this this is hard it was January 2013 and my partner got a phone call a man and his team had died partner put down the phone and he cried there wasn't time yet he said it wasn't right he said the man was doing everything correct in the scheme of what we believe he said he was a teacher and a, a healer. And my partner was mad at God. <laughs> mad at God. That's not a time to channel, by the way. Almost everyone in here at some time has been mad at God. And the anger is frustration of why things are the way they are, because they seem out of sync with love. Out of sync with love. And you say, how could this be? What possible reason would there be for the man to leave this planet now? had to be an accident it wasn't his heart simply stopped beating how many of you have had that situation where you lose someone a partner a friend a sister a brother a parent and it's not time as though there ever was a good time but you know it wasn't time. And you stop for a moment and in your sorrow, you shake your head and you say, what possible 
possible reason could there be? It's out of sync with love. There's anger, there's frustration. You don't believe it. You deny it. It hurts your heart for a long time. You've had it. My partner's had it. It's recently happened here. So I want to show you something that you didn't think of. I shared this with my partner about his team member, Sid, who we lost, and still my partner is in denial. Why this should be, I don't expect you to understand. I just want you to know there is a maturity in what I'm going to call new energy soul planning. What's the most important thing for you? It's to stay alive. It's to stay alive and shine your light. We have said this over and over for 26 years. For all humanity, extended life, staying on the planet, changing the very dirt of the earth, because you're here and you vibrate higher. You're important, we have said to you. You make a difference, we have said to you. And then way before it's time, you lose somebody precious who is doing everything right. Everything right. And you're mad at God. There's nothing but love on this side of the veil, regardless of your feelings. But I want to make you even more enlightened. I don't expect you to understand. I just want you to know what you have done on this planet is to shift the future. Past 2012, you're shifting the potential of what is to come. And in order for this future to be manifest with the kind of perfection it needs, it needs an army of light workers that are profound. Soul planning. You're losing. To you, some of the most profound personalities and beautiful people on this planet, and they're going early. And I'll tell you why. Because we need them for the future. You need them right now to come back on this planet, be born soon, time to grow up, so they will play a part in a new kind of future for the earth, a gentle, compassionate, beautiful future. And we need them. It's no sacrifice. Or is it? Is it any consolation for you to know you're going to meet them again? You'll be there. You all will be there. It is the cycle of life that souls are eternal from the great central source, come to earth in lesson, leave the earth and come back and continue and continue and continue. This is the staple of spiritual reality. In your Akash right now, you have so many lives. Do you feel it? Do you understand it? Do you know it? I want you to feel it and acknowledge it. You're part of this system. As an old soul, you pass the marker and things are 
changing. There is more soul planning going on right now than any time in humanity. Because before you pass this marker, it simply was repetition of old energy. You come and you go, not much goes on. You come and you go, not much changes. Thousands of years of the same energy, the same wars, the same hatred, the same human nature, and suddenly it changed. What was the focus when she was alive of Martine? What was her focus? What was the names of the books that she helped write? What was her focus? The great shift, the transition of consciousness. Here is a mature soul, ripe and ready for the future. And we needed her to make the cycle now. My partner's teammate, Sid, in 2013, we needed him now. We needed him to grow up and be my partner's mentor in 75 years. The potential of the planet is ripe. Let me explain that. It is almost palatable. It's reality unmanifested. It sits there starting to build itself potential. Soul planning. Can you take a deep breath? Along with those souls you've loved and lost who are here and say, it's okay. It is okay. Okay. I want to repeat something that I gave in my partner's language not too long ago in Israel to give you hope. And it's something that is so esoteric there are those who will roll their eyes and say, I'm not really sure I got that part. It's advanced information about the way things work in this galaxy. I want to ask you a question. You have two kinds of time, B.C. and A.D. What happened? Who changed the clock? And why did time start over? At the death of a prophet. What happened? It would have to be something very profound for historians to go back and start the clock over. Did you notice? I have a prophecy. It's going to take some years. There has to be generations who go by to recognize what happened on your watch in 2012. They will start to understand why the Maya started their calendar again in 2012. And they're going to look back and they're going to say everything before 2012 is going to be called the barbarian age and everything after 2012 is going to be called the dispensation of compassion and eventually my prediction is that those in charge of the clock for the planet We'll have another set of initials that will measure it from 2012. Spiritualists 
have identified the first age as the dispensation of law. And then the master of love came and it became the dispensation of love. Now you have changed yet again this planet with a prophet that is inside called intuition and it's called the dispensation of compassion. The Mayans restarted their calendar and so will you someday. That's how profound this is. Is it no wonder we need souls? Here's what I want to tell you. When you look up in the sky and you ponder the stars, Can you really question whether there's life out there? My partner spoke of the bell-shaped curve, randomness. Do you really believe that with billions of solar systems, this is the only one who got life? <laughs> no. The bell-shaped curve is everywhere including the stars. The universe teems with life, with souls. Some of them, like yours, have had a chance of decision-making. Some didn't. And some of them have made the same decisions you did. We've told you before that the Pleiadians are your seed biology that you have layers of DNA inside you that belong to them. They seeded you. There's evidence. Have you ever heard of the missing link? Biologists, what is it? It's the fusing of chromosome two and three into one. It gives the human being as you know it today 23 chromosomes instead of the common 24 that apes have. Something happened. Biologists have even called it the missing link. There's something missing. Oh, no, there isn't. It's at the Seven Sisters. They changed it. It's the creation story. It's metaphorized with Adam and Eve, the exchange of the rib, all of the metaphors, is you receiving a different kind of biology and divinity inside. It's the creation story. Now here's what I want you to ponder. Are you the first civilization in the galaxy to go through this? Oh, dear ones, it's a stretch, isn't it? It's happened over and over and over and over. You're just the new kids on the block. Don't you find it unusual that the earth can be four billion years old and you just got here? Humanity has only been here for a moment. Do you think it's possible that other civilizations had had millions of years before you? And they have. What a coincidence that this planet only just came in with humans. It's not a coincidence at all. It was designed this way. Could it be that other civilizations have the building blocks of life that is DNA? When you start discovering life, and you will discover it in this solar system, you will find microbial life and a little bigger. And some of that will be in water on some of the moons. You will then analyze for some of the planets you're looking at. And when you take it apart, you'll find 
DNA. Oh, it may not look like yours, but DNA, even on this planet, is present in all life. A vegetable will have it, a fish will have it. So does everything else that lives in the galaxy. Why would it be different, dear ones? Why would you be different? Physics is physics. DNA is built with physics and chemistry that is common everywhere. Oh, there may be different gravities, different atmospheres, different kinds of DNA, but the structure forms itself naturally like yours did. For the reasons that yours did, the physics is the same all over the galaxy. Is it possible that other civilizations have gone through what you're going through right now? Is it possible? The Pleiadians had a horrific history. Much much more profound than yours. They've been here a long, long time in this galaxy. They've come from nothing, an old energy that destroyed themselves more than once. With up to three holocausts of genocide. And I want to tell you what happened. The same thing is happening here. Through free choice, they eventually got it. And they made a decision. I don't want to tell you how long ago that was because I don't want to discourage you. It took a while for consciousness to become compassionate, different, And today they mark their time on a calendar from that place when it happened. When they grew up. When they become mature. Just like you. What I want to tell you, dear human beings, is that we have seen this process over and over. This is not new. This is not new. There was soul planning there too. Are you also aware that there is a finite number of souls in the great central source? And that means that all of you, all of you, all of you have played a part in past civilizations before the beginning of humanity. It's missing in your akash at the moment. You don't see it. You don't know it. But some of you are aware at some level. This isn't really your planet. <laughs> don't raise your hand. It's intuitive, isn't it? And here's the other thing that's intuitive. The old soul is waking up right now and they're starting to analyze this and they're saying, I remember this. I remember this. And when you start realizing it's happened before, it's not a mystery. It's not something that's chance. It starts to make sense. Even though you don't know what's next, you remember it has a good ending because you went through it. You went through it. And you're going through it again. I'm giving you this information and this story. So it starts to make sense that such a thing could be on this planet that there is a future beyond your comprehension where human nature is way different than it is now where greed is not what it is now in fact greed 
is something that used to be. Balance. Compassion. Maturity. Is the kind of thing that you're headed for with human nature. And you can't believe it because you've never seen it. But generation after generation after generation will start to find answers to problems that seemingly have no solution and never did in an old energy. There are so many examples we've given of this. Now is not the time again. But just to say this. You're awakening to an energy that some of you remember. I want you to relax with it. And understand that you're again sitting at the precipice of knowledge, wisdom, awareness, and invention. And I want you to relax with those you've loved and lost. But they're relaxed with it right now. So many are here looking at you and saying, love is that way. For a better earth, a much better earth. Hmm. And so it is.